Time now for my special guest, a man who knows more about the royal family than Prince Charles. Mind you, they don't tell that poor bastard anything. It's journalist and royal biographer Andrew Morton. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks for inviting me. Good to nice have you. To now, you've got a new book out. Yeah, another uh, book. Here it is, a biography of the lovely Meghan Markle. And what a beautiful thing this book is, too. Uh, now, is Meghan, the shot in the arm, are still slightly stuffy royals need right now, do you think? I think so. I think she's made them relevant. And when you speak to anybody from an ethnic community, they say it's great that we've got a biracial future princess or duchess uh, in the works. And it makes everything seem a little bit looser, a bit more authentic. Let me ask you this. How much research into Meghan Markle and her background would the royal family have done before they sanctioned this marriage? They would have done some. They would have done some basic uh, police checks, actually, on, uh, mm. on whether she had a criminal record, whether any member of the family was uh, dubious. Because check. after Diana, they must be worried about, you know, someone coming into the family who then sort of in some ways undermines the institution. Exactly. You take that example as a perfect example. She's lived next to the royal family for years. Mm. Diana... Uh, what went to, to, to Sandringham for Christmas, knew Edward, knew Andrew, and, of course, uh, her sister, Sarah, was dating Prince Charles. They, they had served the royal family for hundreds of years. Mm. Nobody thought for a moment that the, the whole marriage between Charles and Diana would end this... So if this that can go wrong, anything can, so there's exactly. no point second-guessing. So, so what's, what's the point of sending a second-guessing? Yeah. Guessing? Because, you know, when you actually look at the Queen's reign... Every single person who's come into the family has been a commoner. Could have been a photographer, could have, you know, the daughter of the polo manager, PR person. And the only aristocrat who's come into the family has left a trail of mayhem. Lady <laughs> Diana Spencer, or rather, um, she was pushed into, um, into a very difficult situation. There were reports this morning that Charles hasn't yet met William's new baby because of his difficult relationship with his oldest son. Or the, you, or the fact he's not in the country. What do you understand to be the truth about their relationship? Is it, is it a frosty one? Well, actually, it's quite a loving one, but right. he never, ever chastises his kids. He never mm. chastised them when they were growing up. He would... I mean, a classic example, um, Prince Harry would say, I'm not going to go to this, because he was a truculent teenager, I'm not going to go to this event, and Prince Charles would try and convince him to go, and then he'd just give up, put his headphones on, listen to the opera and say to a courtier, you deal with this. Andrew, I'm sure, like me, you've heard a number of unsubstantiated rumours about the royal family over the years from various bullshitters. I mean, you know, everyone's got something, haven't they? They go, yeah. oh, I've got a mate of a mate who met a royal and this is what they did, right? Yeah. So we've collected all the idiot bullshitters and reprobates that work here. We've all collected some of the ones we've heard from mm -hmm. people we know. And uh, we're not going to dignify these rumours by naming any royals. Instead, I'm going to tell you just the rumour itself and you can confirm whether you've also heard it. OK. Have you heard it too? With Andrew Morton. Uh, I heard from a guy I know called Gary Honda um, that one of the royals was at a stag party and when the groom went into the loos, he caught that royal having sex with the best man. Andrew Morton, have you heard it too? Similar. OK. What have you heard? In, in, in bed with a sailor. In bed with a sailor, but at a stag. <laughs> According to my mate Fat Allen, when one royal went to the toilet on a visit to a submarine, her staff made sure they removed the shit so the crew couldn't retrieve it, laminate it and put it on display. Andrew Morton, have you heard it too? Queen Victoria, the royal train. And, that story is a hundred and odd years old. Yeah, it's still a good one, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Um, a bloke I know, Lee the Plasterer, said one of them considered hooking up with Ashley Cole after he contacted her on Twitter. Andrew Morton, have you heard it too? Yeah, that's Megan. Megan really? Martin, and, Megan. He did, and he made a move? Megan uh, and, uh, and Ashley Cole were in, in touch. It's in the book. It's and, in the book. Well, and, there you uh, go. But, that's uh, probably where we got she, that from. But she was advised, uh, don't go near him. Uh, Big Ted, a uh, friend of mine, told me that Jimmy Savile was lined up to be godfather to one of the royals. Andrew Morton, have you heard it too? Not heard that, but he did act as peacemaker between Charles and Diana at the height of their rows How in 1991. How on earth does things like that... Because I interviewed Jimmy Savile once and he told me that, right? And he told me, oh, I'm always being asked to mediate between people. Yeah. And I took it with a pinch of salt. Oh, he's just yeah. balmy, he's making up any old shit. But you're saying that's true. Yeah, how, absolutely, absolutely how does true. How that come about? Prince Charles says, I, I know who I'll get to be the yeah. go-between. Well, because he, he was the one who was seen as... who would, who would do it without any, any... He wouldn't sugarcoat it. 
Thanks, Andrew. Thanks also to my panel this evening, Bobby Mayer, Naz Osmanalo and Rusty Lee. Now, in celebration of the latest royal baby being named Louis after, Andrew? Louis Louis, a very famous pop song. Uh, no, wrong. It's after <laughs> King Louis, the megalomaniac orangutan out of the Jungle Book. Oh. Um, Damn. Andrew, I'd like you to join me now in a fitting and dignified musical tribute to the young royal, his royal monkeyness, Prince, maybe one day King Louis, as we sing King Louis' famous hit, I Wanna Be Like You. Take it away. Now I'm the king of the swingers, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub and stroll right into town and be just like the other men. I'm tired of monkeying around. Oh, be do I want to be like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you too. You'll see it's true. Someone like me can learn to be like someone like you. Ba -ba -da -ba.